five ways to wear a cami. Hi ladies, it's Erin and welcome back to my channel. Through my channel, my goal is to help you make style simple, make it easy, make it attainable, and also help you step up your game so that you can look like the very best version of yourself each and every day. Today, I'm gonna share five ways to wear a camisole. And a cami is one of those pieces that's often overlooked. We may not think much about it. We may not even have one in our wardrobes because it's not you know, perceived as a basic. You need to have a cotton cami, but you don't necessarily need to have a pretty lacy cami like this one. I'm probably gonna change your mind today in this video. You'll see the power of the cami. <laughs> Because the cami, just a simple piece, very easy, can really take the whole look up a notch. It adds that little extra something. It's like a touch of sexiness to your look, a touch of femininity. It's just tasteful and lovely, and again, sexy and feminine and pretty. So I'm gonna show you five ways to wear it. And there is, of course, the bonus tip, so be sure to watch all the way to the end so you get all of these great tips. So let's get started. The first way that you can wear your cami is alone. You can wear it alone, on its own, nothing else. And this is the trickiest when it comes to the bra. I know a lot of you have bra problems. I get it, I did a whole video about it. So if you haven't seen that, I'll put a link to it in the, in the description box. But essentially, if you wanna wear the cami alone, you have to go a few different routes. You can either do a very pretty bra strap like you could buy a bra that has a pretty bra strap. I would recommend looking at Maria Joe bras and I'll put a link to one below. You can go the route of the nipple cover that lifts like I showed you in my style secrets video, which I will put a link to below. These are amazing. They cover the nipple. They have a little bit of um, padding, so it definitely covers everything. And then there's a strip at the top that you can pull it so that it actually lifts, lifts the um, girls as well. So those are amazing. And then you can also just go the route of the nipple cover or a strapless bra, just a good strapless bra. I'm gonna be talking about strapless bras very soon on the blog, but essentially I would look at Soma and their strapless bras. I think they are supportive and comfortable and in terms of like a great everyday strapless bra, that would be a go-to for me. So wearing it alone, and here I've paired that beautiful white cami, NYC cami, it's actually slightly off-white, with a Free People leopard print midi skirt in satin. I love this skirt so much. I think it's so pretty and I love the length of it and I think it's great for the office. I think you could wear it to the office and beyond. Here's an example of wearing the cami alone. And you might want to do this on a really hot summer day, you know, when you just, you need to be cool, but it still looks sophisticated. It still looks elevated. It still looks classy. And you can do the cami alone with a skirt. You could do the cami alone with jeans. You could do the cami alone with shorts if it's super hot outside. Just something to think about wearing that camisole alone. Don't rule it out automatically just because of the spaghetti straps. You can make slight modifications to the undergarment situation in order to address that. And then with this look on my feet, I just have a pair of tan sandals. These are old, you guys may remember them from the Nordstrom sale, they're by Mark Fisher. I don't think they're available anymore, but I'll link something similar below. Okay, the next option for your camisole or cami is to wear it under a jacket. By jacket, I mean blazer. So like what I'm doing right now, I've got a cami and a blazer. Cami, blazer. And it's just easy, perfect, lovely. It's a go-to for me for sure. I love to wear that cami blazer combo, cami jacket combo. You know, sometimes wearing a jacket can be warm. You know, you can get really hot. And so it's nice to just have a simple cami underneath so that you're not adding a lot of warmth to the look. You're not adding this heavy layer underneath. It's just a very lightweight, thin layer. And then if you want to take the jacket off, just remember to keep in mind about the bra situation. So either get that pretty bra strap bra, 
your strapless bra or the nipple covers, and then you'll be good. So you could take the jacket off, no problem. So I paired it with just some crop jeans and some cute python mules. But yeah, you can wear this, you could definitely wear this cami under a jacket, no problem. Very elegant look, very chic look. Now for an edgier look, you may wanna try your cami under a moto jacket. That's another fail safe go-to that I love to wear. This moto jacket is by Eero. It's the Eero Han moto jacket. It's a beautiful piece. It runs short and narrow. So if you are petite and narrow through the shoulders, it's a great jacket. It's like the perfect fit. But if you're long, you have a long torso for your body, or you've got broad swimmer shoulders, this is not the right jacket for you. But I wanted to mention it because this is a jacket I bought two years ago. I've worn it again and again and again and again and again. It's a beautiful investment piece. You don't have to go the Eero route, especially if you are not short torsoed like me. There are plenty of other amazing brands that are cut differently. So just find a brand that's high quality, that's great, that's within your budget, and then also fits and flatters your body type, which is key. Same jeans here and just a different pair of pumps. But this is another one where you just really can't go wrong. That moto jacket cami combination, so good. Your next option is to wear the cami under a button down shirt. So there are some button downs that feel a bit sheer and you just like to have that extra layer for coverage, especially in a workplace. But I really just love the cami under the button down because I feel like it adds again, that little pop of like femininity and sexiness. And so I will unbutton the shirt one extra button so that that lace peeps out and you can see it. And I love when the cami fits well so that when you bend over, you can do that bend over test and you can see that you're not gonna see your bra even when you bend over. So it actually does serve a purpose of giving you that extra coverage. Or maybe you have buttons that are popping out a bit in the front because of your chest. The cami is a great solution to that. You know, you just unbutton the button and then put the cami underneath. And then that way the girls are covered. You don't have to worry about the pocket between the buttons popping up and people seeing things. It just, it does have a function, but it also just adds that dash of interest and excitement and sexiness and femininity to your look that I absolutely love. I love the cami under the silky white button down or the traditional white button down, any white button down or any button down that you want to put it with. And I finished off that look with some high rise dark wash skinny jeans. These are by Rag and Bone and an Hermes belt, as well as just some really classic, wonderful, Black Pumps by Jimmy Choo. The last way that you can wear your cami is probably the most unexpected, and that is under a t-shirt. So here again, you know, you're wearing the white tee and you're a little bit insecure about whether it's too sheer, whether people can see your bra through the fabric. Um, the cami will take care of that problem for you. It gives you that extra thin layer that's not adding warmth that will cover everything up and add that smooth, sleek surface so that if you're worried about like a lacy bra or bra straps, it will cover all of that. But what I love is that little bit of lace peeping up when you wear like a V-neck or crew neck t-shirt. You could even try to find camis and I have a couple that have straps and having those straps kind of show through um, the V-neck is a really edgy, modern, cool look. So you could do the lace, you could do strappy, something strappy, um, but playing around and thinking about what camis can I find that could really add that little extra pop and edge to my look with these V-neck tees and with these button down shirts and with these jackets and blazers. And so you can go the route of the traditional lace cami or you could look for something a little edgier like a strappy cami. I finished off this look with a white crossbody bag, some dark wash high rise jeans and wedge sneakers that I love that I wear all the time. These sneakers are so amazing, comfortable, and they add height. So I love that about them. The wild card, the bonus tip that I wanted to share with you guys is to wear those camis under dresses. So a lot of times you may have dresses that have a wrap front or they're buttoned down. 
And in either event, they may be quite low cut and you may not feel comfortable walking around with, you know, that much skin showing. You just don't want to feel overexposed or vulnerable in that way. And so that's where a cami can really come in handy. Now, it's very tricky when you're pairing with a dress. You want to make sure that that cami really doesn't bring the dress down, that it really is elegant enough to match the dress. And so here's an example of a button down dress. This one's Poke It Out by Topshop that um, is buttoned down that I just unbuttoned the button and have the cami peeping out just a little bit, the lace to add a little interest and also add some coverage. But I've also done this with a different polka dot dress, it's also a polka dot maxi dress, coincidentally, that's a wrap front that is really low cut. And I didn't want to have kind of the girls spilling out. And so I did a strappy lace up cami with that and it really created this cool, modern look that I love. And I actually prefer to wear the dress now with the cami versus alone. But you can always turn to the cami when you've got a low cut or plunging neckline and you wanna just cover it up a bit more and make it a bit more conservative. That is definitely an option. You just have to be careful again to pick the right cami for that dress. So this cami is by Cami NYC that I featured in this video and that is one of the sort of premier brands in terms of quality and fit for camisoles. But there are a zillion dupes and I found that with camisoles that once you find a good dupe, they sell out like that. So um, this one, which also comes in black, I've got an Abercrombie & Fitch, so it's very affordable. I can usually find one or two at Nordstrom, so I'll put links below if I can find um, one that looks very similar to this Cami NYC Cami. Another company that makes camis, a lot of times they're often dupes of the Cami NYC Camis, is Waif. The line W-A-Y-F Waif makes great dupes for Cami NYC Camis. So I'll put some options below for you guys to check out in the Cami department, like at a variety of price points and at some different colors. And, and I'll definitely give you some different color options as well. For me, I have a black Cami, I have a ivory cami, I have a pink cami, I have, you know, lace black, I have strappy black, I have strappy off-white, a lacy off-white, I have like a cami wardrobe. Uh, you don't have to go that far. If you're just starting out, I would say get a lacy off-white one and get a lacy black one. And then that's a great starter set for you. And then you can sort of play around with other things as you progress and get comfortable with the cami. A lot of you have been asking for this video, so I hope you found it helpful. Do let me know if you have any questions at all. Of course, just comment below. If you liked this video and you haven't already subscribed, I hope you will hit that subscribe button and the notification bell. You guys, over on Instagram, plenty of other outfit ideas and inspiration, daily outfits, casual outfits, mama forms, all over on Instagram. I'm at Busby Style there. So pop over there, follow me on Instagram for those quick, just daily shots of fashion inspiration, style inspiration, mom on the go inspiration. And let me know if you guys have any um, great cami suggestions because I would love to, to know if you found one that you think is just perfect, that'd be awesome. I mean, I love the ones that I found, but I would love to hear what you found as well. Thank you guys so much again for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.